Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of the Mojave macOS setup video. So in this episode right here, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Erlang and Elixir. Um, so I'm gonna talk you guys through the whole process and basically we're gonna use ASDF, ASDF version manager. And if you're not familiar with that, check out our previous episodes. Uh, also check out our site. We have a ton of uh, content there regarding Rails, Elixir, um, React. If you wanna build a React front end that connects to your Rails API, uh, we have content for that, uh, so check that out. Also become a mer member. Some of the videos are member exclusive. Um, and if you have any issues, you can talk to us and ask us any questions. Um, and uh, so yeah, membership is pretty cheap. It's just nine bucks a month. So uh, without any further ado, let's hop right in. So we're gonna start off by installing ASDF plugin add Erlang. And then we're gonna add Elixir after this as well. So add Elixir. And we can list out all the versions that are available. So list all Erlang. So um, also on the website for ASDF uh, Erlang plugin, it says we need to have autoconf installed and uh, WX Mac. Um, so I wanna install those two. So go ahead and install that. So I believe I already have that installed. And then WX Mac. All right, so that is all set up. Uh, so now we're good to go to install Erlang. So ASDF um, install Erlang 21.1. Actually, one more thing. Uh, we can install um, without the Java compiler. Uh, so we can set that configuration. So I'm gonna copy this um, disable debug and uh, without Java C here. So before that, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now we're gonna do uh, ASDF install Erlang 21.1. So this is now going to download the source code and compile um, Erlang on our system. All right, there we go, it's now building. All right, so now um, Erlang is installed. So let's set as, that as the global version. So ASDF global Erlang 21.1. Uh, so now I can go to Erl. And basically this is you know gonna go into the uh, Erlang shell. Um, so we're good now. Uh, I guess we can quit from here. Uh, and now we can actually install uh, Elixir. So ASDF, um, list all Elixir. So I think the latest version right now is 1.7.3, so we're gonna install that. Uh, but we need to make sure that we install the version that's been compiled with um, er, uh, er, Erlang, uh, Erlang 21. Uh, so, you know, by default, the ASDF is gonna download the one that's been pre-compiled with version 19, but since we're using 21, and to avoid any problems, we wanna install um, Elixir. 1.7.3 and then specify OTP 21 like that. And basically this is gonna download the pre-compiled version for OTP 21. And then we can now ASDF global uh, Elixir um, 1.7.3 hyphen OTP 21. And now uh, I can go into uh, IEX or I can do Elixir V and it's gonna show me it's 1.7.3 compiled with 21. I can go to IEX and do observer start. And we can actually see um, the observer over here. Um, there we go. So um, yeah, uh, so now if you are using, if you're, you know, wanna learn Elixir programming language, we have a, um, you know, a series on our site uh, and some of the videos are member exclusive. Um, so become a member for nine bucks a month and you get access to pretty much everything. And uh, so with that, uh, I think now we're pretty in pretty good shape in terms of development. Um, so uh, if you haven't checked out the previous episode, we show you how to set up Node.js. And before that, we show you how to set up uh, Ruby and Rails. Uh, and uh, we also showed you how to set up this ASDF version manager tool. Uh, so like this video if you found it useful, also share it with your friends and family. Um, and basically, you know, the first episode of this whole series, we show you how to actually set up the terminal as well, like ZSH and uh, all that stuff, all that's jazz. 
Um, so yeah, uh, with that, I want to wrap up this video. Uh, and check out our website and I'll see you guys in the next episode.